Hi, welcome to a new Decred News Update. I'm your host, Exodus, and we have a lot to talk about. The on-chain vote to decentralize the Decred Treasury has passed with a 99.89% voter approval, 83% of stakers voted yes, 17% abstained from voting, and less than 1% voted no. Funds are controlled via a consensus-level smart contract controlled exclusively by Decred's global network of stakeholders via Decred's on-chain voting governance model. 10% of each block reward is now flowing into the Treasury address. Funds from the old corporate treasury will also begin to flow in over time. You can view this for yourself at explorer.decred.org. The Decred treasury hit over $160 million in the latest market spike. It's important all Decred holders upgrade their software to avoid being forked off the network. The current version is Decred 1.6.2, which you can download from decred.org. Decentralizing the treasury will make Decred one of the largest, most important, and most real DAOs in crypto. This on-chain vote perfectly demonstrates Decred's governance model, upgrading to improve the protocol in a seamless fashion based on the will of Decred's coin holders. This is in stark contrast to how larger projects like Bitcoin and Ethereum go about upgrading with their rough consensus governance models and lack of resolution conflict. Now let's look at development updates. Decred version 1.6.2 has been released. This release fixes a number of issues with mixing and VSP tickets, as well as improving the stability of SPV nodes. DEX integration into Decred's wallet to Crediton is making way with builds already available on GitHub. Already over 2 million Decred have been traded on the DEX and it won't be long until more casual Decred users can participate. Support for Ethereum trades is also coming along as well. Polite has been upgraded to have a more scalable and flexible storage backend after almost one year of development. Timestamps and data are separated, allowing to truly censor and delete data without awkward trade-offs. There's also the ability to retrieve a cryptographic timestamp proof for any piece of data, like a comment. There's also a proper plugin architecture where plugins can extend generic timestamp records with additional functionality, such as comments or ticket voting. Plugins can be turned on and off in a config file without writing code. There's an ongoing proposal to continue work on Politea, which I'll get to later. Docs.decred.org now features a dark mode. Now let's look at network stats. The percentage of mixed coins peaked at 44.9% of the total circulating supply, but has now fallen to above 41%, which is still an incredible participation number. Staking participation dropped to 55.6%, but rebounded to 58% of the total circulating supply staked, which is nearly 7.5 million DCR. The ticket price recently peaked at over 202 Decred, but has since fallen to around 176 Decred per ticket. The cost of one DCR ticket as of this video is around 38,000 US dollars. Currently, there's only 3.5 Decred on the Lightning Network. The Decred Network still has low fees, so there isn't a huge demand for scaling at the moment. Decred Lightning developer Mateus released a video talking about hash and time lock contracts, point time lock contracts, and demo doing an offline transaction on the Lightning Network. So one of the main challenges to move into PTLCs is ensuring that Alice can find out the secret scaler, or in other words, ensuring that Alice has an adapter signature, which can only be completed by adding the secret scaler. That it's Alice is creating an invoice and the provider is setting this invoice. Response. There is now a Decred mapper showing the worldwide location of Decred nodes at nodes.jholdstock.uk. The majority of nodes are located in North America and Europe. There are currently 262 reachable public nodes in 31 different countries. If you'd like to spin up your own node and help contribute to the Decred network, we have a tutorial right here on the Decred YouTube channel. Kathy Wood of ARK Invest named Decred as a project that she would like to start a fund for. ARK is just waiting for a custodial solution to become available. We do have a, a, a fund right now only with two currencies in it. Uh, this is a private fund uh, and that's Bitcoin and Ether, but we're scouring the scene. Some of the custody arrangements uh, associated with others like Decred um, aren't quite there yet. Uh, so, you know, again, we're, we're picking our, our spots carefully. Why the crypto news media didn't report on this remains a mystery, given that Decred is the only project she has named besides Ethereum and Bitcoin in regards to investing. There were also various community-related content created. Project lead Jay Yogampaya was interviewed by the Finance Magnets podcast. The foundation for the ability to then go, hey, let's, let's take a major decision like a consensus change and instead of just arguing about it, or for example, having the developer or, you know, maybe venture capitalists make the decisions, let's all make the decision together in a way that's, you know, that's, that's uh, secure so that you, you can't just, you know, I don't know, spin up 10,000 nodes on Amazon. Um, 
and and do that in a way so that we can all evolve together in a way that we agree upon as opposed to you know bicker endlessly about block size we've uh we've just recently and it's actually going on right now to vote for a decentralized treasury so instead of the treasury being something that's controlled by a single person or uh you know a single corporate entity mm -hmm. it is now it, it's a special account on our network that's controlled by the stakeholders in the same way that voting for the consensus rules uh works furthermore decred was featured in a finance magnets article explaining the project decred was also featured on news site bankless times talking about the decentralization of the decred treasury ivan on tech academy has released a what is decred article going over some of the basics of the project Decred developer Luke Powell was on Decred in Depth live on YouTube to discuss the upcoming treasury changes, DAOs, and Volatea. The vast majority of things that we build specifically for Decred governance will be able to be reused, especially for the governance of other DAOs, right? Decred is just a very big DAO, like, um, but everything we build for the Decred DAO will be applicable to anybody else that runs the, wants to run their own DAO, essentially, right? So we'll be able to provide a software suite of tools for running a DAO. I created a quick walkthrough of Politea, Decred's proposal platform, an important element of the DAO. Decred Society also started his Decred Fundamental series, which is now available right here on the Decred YouTube channel. The eyes of the team building governance from the beginning would allow the project to develop long into the future. At its core, Decred improves on the original design of Bitcoin by implementing the maximum supply of 21 million coins, a hyper-secure hybrid proof-of-work, proof-of-stake solution that makes both miners and coin holders responsible for the security of the chain. A governance model that aligns majority voting with the direction of the project. Decred Society was also interviewed on Decred in Depth. You started making these videos about a year ago. What was it that made you decide to start doing uh, this? And I'm just gonna go ahead and follow that up with a question from Checkmate. Um, he asked, you chose to focus on Decred what was the initial drive slash motivation that made you find Decred so compelling versus other coin experiences? That's not a hard one, actually. Um, for me, it was the community. Once again, like I said to you at the beginning, I, I tend to try these things out. If someone tells me they've got a great community, I go into it and I, I try and join their channels and I talk to them and I generally have all these these thoughts and I, and I write them down. A lot of the other communities were, were very hostile to those thoughts. And it's like, no, you can't do that. And it's like, okay, well, why not? And it's just and you know, and they've shut down the conversation straight away. So, so for me, it was actually it was actually the community. The community um, spent time with me, just kind of trying to kind of get me to a, to a better level. And every time I posed a question on Twitter or in the um, Discord channel, uh, it was always well re well received. Um, and I and I like that that back and forth. You know, if I don't understand something, you know, I want to be able to better understand it. And if if no one's willing to, to get me to that point, the future adoption for the, the masses isn't going to happen because if, if I'm a layman and I don't understand and I have some technical abilities, people with no technical abilities are going to are gonna find that really frustrating. Yeah, I completely agree. I had a very similar experience. And, and one thing that I found was when I dove into the Decred community, aside from the welcome welcoming spirit, um, there is a lot of intellectual curiosity and intellectual honesty and people willing to have their ideas challenged and people willing to, um, you know, consider weaknesses and strengths and talk about things um, honestly. On Politea, we have the Pi 2021 proposal from Luke BP. This proposal requests a total of $118,000 to continue building out the front end and back end of Politea's infrastructure. User layer features include adding a composable plugin architecture, adding a user API that is designed for plugins, adding a DCR payments plugin, improving scaling, and making email optional for signup. Proposal development features include adding proposal author updates, adding more proposal metadata, and adding proposal life cycles. The proposal start date is July 1st, 2021, and the estimated time for completion is approximately six months. It's great to see more Decred development work formalized and laid out for stakeholder approval. These upgrades to Politea will only make the platform more feature complete, transparent, and robust. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.